All right, YouTubers. Here's something that I kind of thought was interesting. I couldn't find anything about it on YouTube. So I went ahead and posted one. Uh, this is a Line 6 Variax guitar, James Tyler. As many probably know, the Variax is more or less a synth guitar. Uh, Line 6 has the processor and everything built into the guitar. So you can plug this into any amp and you have uh, drop tunings, various tunings. You have a whole bunch of pre-programmed guitars that are already built into this. And then the James Tyler, of course, adds standard magnetic pickups uh, to tier with that. So you have your sensibility or you have your standard guitar. Well, what I wanted to do here was use Roland as my guitar synth also. So I added a GK3. Now, the whole purpose of this is I wanna be able to layer even more layers of synth sounds. Uh, for example, the Roland, uh, I really wanna have a strings backing with say like an electric guitar over the strings. And you can do that with the uh, guitar mix, GK, whatever. But I also want to play over top of that with an acoustic and have separate volume controls uh, on the fly. So I don't have to mess with the programming on you know, the patches and the pedal. So what I did is I obviously installed a GK. Now I'm going to use the GK into the GR55 synth pedal. And then I'm also going to use the Variax port to go into my Line 6 X3 pod pedal. Uh, the things that I wanted to show you here on this, to begin with, there's a lot of stuff going on on these James Tylers, but the PZOs are not one you have to worry about. Each individual string is a PZO pickup. So the electronics from them go straight down. Now, underneath these two screws, this one here, there's a battery box down below. So I cut this screw down to a third its original length and I cut the spring down. There's a spring underneath there to adjust it. I cut the spring down to a third its original length as well. This side I did a half. Half on the spring, half on the screw. It set the, the, the depth of the strings are perfect. And uh, just so you know, Roland allows 20 millimeters separation between the bridge to the pickup. This is exactly 20 millimeters. I could not get any further, but I wanted to be far enough away from this tremolo to where the tremolo wouldn't affect, you know, this pickup. So it's it's installed and that's that's the uh the very axe with a roland gk3 pickup it is possible and it kind of adds another tier to your synth guitar playing